125. In the Sefer Chafetz Chaim. When can one relate to a third party non-derogatory information which, if passed on to others, might arouse animosity between two people? So when can you tell over things that you're not really causing, it's not, I guess you could say, non-derogatory, it's not, it's not bad information, necessarily, well, but it might cause fighting between the people. So when are you allowed to? It's like a great thing to learn because so far we've been learning what you can't say. Now we're learning a little bit what you can't say. Okay. So the Chavot Chaim. Included in the prohibition against speaking with Chilas is relating information which might ultimately cause fighting or ill will, not liking each other, if it were to be passed on to a certain person or persons. Therefore, it is forbidden to say anything to anyone that might cause fighting between, between two, any two people. One must assume that whatever is told to even one person is likely to be repeated to others. So if you tell it to one person, he's going to tell it to everybody else, and it, it's, it's going to end up getting to everybody else. Only if the listener is warned not to tell anyone what he's about to hear, and, can, and he can be trusted that he's going to follow this, would then that be permitted to share information, provided, of course, that it's not of a derogatory nature, or else then it's lush and hard. So only when you know that it's not necessarily derogatory, it's not bad, plus the guy's not going to tell it over, he, he promises, you know, you can trust him, that he's going to keep it to himself, can he then pass that over to somebody else?